Hey, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a energy check-in from now until the end of March. So I'm going to be look. I will be looking at. Sorry, guys. Love, uh, finances, and career, and what spirit wants you guys to know. All right. So let's hop in, air signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys um, from now until the end of March. This is going to be for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general. And to only take what resonates. All right, let's see what spirit what messages do you have for air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus from now until the end of March. All right, let's see. When it comes to love, we have the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands Rangers. When it comes to your finances and career, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Page of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. What spirit wants you guys to know? Page of Wands Reverse, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords Reverse. All right, air signs, what's going on with you guys? All right, um, not to say it like that, but what's going on, guys? So, um, air signs. Oh, praise the Virgin Now until the end of March. All right, so just looking at love, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Wands Reverse. Um, air signs, for some of you guys, I'm already seeing like third party energy, the Queen of Wands reverse. There's somebody else in between you guys. There's some type of third party energy. Um, you guys can either be the third party or your person has you in the third party. There is some type of relationship or like some type of commitment but in between you guys with this Ten of Pentacles here. All right. Um, for some of you guys, but let's see air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, let's see, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Look at the Ten of Pentacles. We have the higher font, yeah. So there could be a Taurus that you guys are dealing with or we're dealing with. Or there's a Taurus that is committed to somebody else or committing to somebody else. We have the Queen of Swords here. Yeah, that, I'm definitely getting third party energy. And we have the King of Wands. Okay, so for some of you guys, air signs, you are committed to this person, and they have you in a third party, okay? Um, and then for others of you, you are the third party. I do want to go into the Queen of Wands in reverse to kind of see what the Queen of Wands in reverse is all about, to see what this is about. Let's see, why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? You guys can be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that is telling you that they want to commit to you. And I do see them coming towards you guys. But then I also see like either third party energy or somebody that is just like shit back crazy that won't give up. And that's going to cause problems. That's why I wanted to go into the Queen of Wands reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? The Four of Cups. And then the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. The Death card. Now, is this person getting rid of the third party? The death card, eight of cups. Somebody is getting rid of the third party or this third party is walking away. So, it looks like there was definitely a third party situation that is now coming to some type of ending or that is now ending. And either the third party is like walking away because they are tired of being rejected or they're tired of this person rejecting them and not giving more to them because they know they're committed to you or this is you air signs ending a third party situation because this person is committed and you're they're not giving you you're not getting anything out of it all right so let's see why is the death card here with the eight of cups the hangman and the page of swords reverse so yeah somebody was waiting and they're still not getting what they want and it's due to a commitment being in between you guys or some type of relationship or living situation. Now, it doesn't have to be marriage, but it can be that they live together or they're committed to somebody in some type of way. But with the hangman and the page of swords, I feel like you guys waited and you're still not getting what you want. So somebody is blocking somebody off, somebody out 
like somebody is like walking away and blocking somebody because they're tired of being hurt they're tired of the back and forth energy or they're tired of like this situation not moving forward okay um but then it's interesting to me that we have the queen of wands in reverse and then the queen of wands in the upright so i feel like this person i'm not sure who this is air signs whether this is you or the other person somebody is like this is the last time you're gonna reject me I'm done. I'm walking away. So like I said, this can be you guys walking away or them walking away from the third party. Why is this not a wand here? See, look. Third party energy. And somebody has... Somebody has showed... Like somebody has made a decision also for some of you guys. Whether they're choosing to stay in their commitment or choosing to be with you. But either way it goes, somebody's walking away. All right? Why is the higher font here? The hermit, not the pendulum. For some of you guys, this person is going to stay in their committed relationship. Okay? So whether the committed relationship is with you or... If it's with the other person, then they're staying with that person. If it's with you, they're staying with you. All right? So, looks like love is kind of like, mm, for you guys right now, okay? There's just like some third-party mess and energy around you air signs. One, two, three of cups. I mean, there's, yeah, someone is definitely moving on or leaving a third party behind, Okay? Um, now, when it comes to finances and career, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You guys are waiting for an offer to come in, or you're waiting to hear from somebody. I feel like some of you guys are very frustrated with your job, or you're frustrated, you know, with what you do. Uh, maybe you're just tired of it. You want something else. You feel like it's not giving. You feel like you're not making the money that you guys want to make. Why is the Ten of Wands here? We have the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys are seeing that something is not worth the money. So I feel like you guys can be getting paid decent, but you feel like it's still not worth it. Or it's kind of like you've been waiting for some type of raise or promotion, or you've been waiting for them to um, promote you or something like that, and it's not happening. Why is the non of wrong members? Yeah, pay the cut. You're waiting to hear from them about something, and you feel like they just keep um, blowing you off or ignoring you. If when it comes to like some type of raise or promotion or like something like that. It's about something about a raise or promotion for some of you guys. We get some more messages for air signs. Why is the seven of pentacles in reverse? The hermit. The theater wand. Some of you guys are thinking about uh, quitting your job the moving uh like you know like going towards another job or another state or traveling um you guys want to go towards where you'll make more money I and mean, i see that you guys will there may be a job or, or maybe you're thinking about relocating maybe that's been on your mind why is the page of cups here what are you waiting for a uh, priestess just in reverse so i feel like air signs your intuition is telling you that you're that they're lying that they're not going to give you some type of raise or promotion or they're not going to pay you as much as they said they were or you just know that they're lying to you about something. There's something that they're lying to you about, okay? There's something that this this job, company, whatever, that they're lying to you guys about. Why is Justice Reavers? Seven of Cups are reverse in the sun. I feel like you guys know that you guys can get better than what you guys are dealing with. Like, you guys are going to go towards better, okay? But I feel like wherever you guys are at, I just feel like for some of you guys with this energy here, no matter how hard you work, I feel like they already got their mind made up as far as, like, who they're going to move up, who they're going to promote, who they're going to give more money. It's like, it's like, they don't play fair. So, it's, you guys can be in a company where you've been there 10 years and somebody has been there four. And they're giving them 
more than you. You know, are you just like, dang, like, how are they getting this and I'm not? Like, it can be something like that. One to the four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys are getting played or somebody is deceiving you. Somebody is also taking your ideas, your plans, or somebody is like, there's somebody that you helped or you help at work and they're taking what they learn from you and applying it and now they have everybody like looking at them and stuff like that. But let's see, why are the seven of swords here? Knight of cups, two of swords, ten of swords. Yeah, you guys are going to be upset by some type of decision that they make. I also feel like there's a lot of things changing in the job, in the company. You may not like the new rules, the, the new people that's coming or whatever, but they're making a lot of changes. Um, I don't even want to keep digging into this energy, so I'm about to just ask. Um, do you see it better coming in for air signs, Aries? I mean, sorry, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords? Yes, I do. So, you're about to go towards something better. You do have an offer coming in. It's coming in very slow because it's the Page of Pentacles. You know, the pencil, Page of Pentacles is slower than the Knights. And it's coming in. All right? Um, now, with the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups, I feel like some of you guys are going to have to take, like, some type of test. Or you got to have, like, some type of certificate or, like, some type of, like, diploma, degree. But I do see the offer coming in. All right? Um, I'm looking at swords here. Yeah, I do see the offer coming in. I do see something better coming in. Um, it's saying from not like between now and like the next nine or ten weeks, things are gonna be a lot better for you guys. Yeah, you guys gotta come out of the the job that you're in now. Somebody is very manipulative and very controlling, or somebody is like a liar, and I feel like you can see straight through that person. But I feel like once you do, you're going to go towards, like, better. And I just feel like you guys will see this person as, like, a liar, are all about themselves, sales, the, the bit. Like, they're all about numbers and self, whatever, whoever this is. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Eight of Swords. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to jump out of this. I feel like this person is a liar. I feel like this person, they might, they might tell you, like, oh, we love you here. We see a lot of potential in you. We would love to keep you here. We want you to be at this company. You do such a great job. We love you, blah, blah, blah. They're lying through their motherfucking teeth. Like, not to say that they don't like you, but I feel like the things they communicate to you are false and put you in your head. You know, so it could be any of that type of bullshit. So, yeah, they're a liar. Let's hop out of this energy. You guys have some type of new offer, new opportunity, something coming in that's going to be better and greater for you guys. All right? So, let's see. Air signs. Finances and career. Some of you guys have something that is owed to you that's coming in. Okay. So we have no more complaining. So maybe you guys have been doing some complaining. All right. But shit, dealing with this, I don't know. But that's a complaint or just some bullshit. So it says complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spirituality. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. So, pretty much what the universe is saying, like, you don't have to be there. Like, if you know how it is, like, leave, find something better. We get that. But maybe some of you guys were complaining. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, Queen of Swords, watch these positive affirmations boom into reality. Ten of Cups. So, yeah. Yep, look. After you guys stop complaining, or just cut the bullshit and be like, you know what? I'm about to just find something else or do whatever and stop talking about it, then something better is going to come in. But some of you guys have something that's old to you. This is a lump sum. So maybe you guys have some money coming in. All right. Um, and I don't mean like a little bit of money. This is like a good amount coming in. All right. So when it comes to what spirit wants you guys to know. Um, I see you guys very stressed out and worried. And kind of feeling stuck and stagnant. All right. Um, the page of wands is when somebody has lost their, their passion or they're not putting passion or creativity into something or that is always, like, not saying you always have something bad to say, but I feel like it can just be like where you're just like, I just give up and you just allow it to stress you and keep you stuck. So let's see what this is about. Well, some of you guys are really stressing over money. 
And we have the tower here. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. Queen of pentacles. Some of you guys are really stressing over money. And I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting this. I feel like some of you guys are like, damn, I just can't wait to be like rich or whatever. I can't wait to just have my money. I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do that. And I feel like with the tower, you guys have been through a lot. Okay? Recently. So it could be like losing jobs or having to move. Or maybe you're going through like a lot of changes that you don't like. And maybe you're just like uncomfortable, but you're about to get comfortable and with the Queen of Pentacles. I definitely feel like it's coming back to you and you're going to be in a more grounded and better energy space, better environment. You'll be able to provide and give more to your children, to your home, to your foundation. So I definitely see things getting better. I feel like you guys shouldn't stress so much, but I can't say don't because I mean it's easier said than done. But let's see what the Six of Swords reverse. Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. It's saying that you guys are the only ones kind of holding yourself back. You know, it's like the Ace of Wands is here. So it's a shift in your energy. Like you need to shift or make changes. Like, so you pretty much can change how this outcome is. You can change the outcome, okay, by shifting your energy and by showing gratitude or being happy or, you know, just grateful for the maybe the things that you do have. All right, but let's see. Some of you guys have something major that you're about to like. Some, I mean, not major. Some of you guys, some of you guys have something you're about to celebrate. So, a signing on a house, or a move, or something like that. Something that you maybe thought that wasn't gonna happen that is actually gonna go in your favor. I'm not sure what this is. I feel like you were stuck, or you felt stuck, or you just felt like um. Maybe you needed help or cosign or something like that. I don't know what this is. But with the King of Swords, I hear like this is like good news coming in. It has to do with the Four of Wands, Nine of Cups. But I feel like your living situation all together is about to change. So I, I feel like Spirit wants you guys to know that everything is about to turn around and change. But the more you guys complain or the more you guys stress or the more you guys, you know, um, allow yourself to like feel stuck, you're not going to like move forward. Okay? So let's see what you guys are needing to heal at this time. Air signs. What do air signs need to heal at this time? Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. We have take your mask, take off your mask, and then we have letting go. So there's something that you need to let go, or you need to let go in general. Um, whether it's a person, place, thing. Okay, and we have number 11, and it says, take off your mask. So let's see what it says. It says, stop trying to appear different to who you really are. It's time to take off your mask and be the real you. You cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? Are you constantly doing things to please others, even if doing this does not work for you? This card indicates that you need to, no, this card indicates that you, yeah, you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them as well as those who doubted and disliked them. So what you guys are needing to heal is take off your mask and be yourself, be who you are. And don't put on fronts for other people. Don't give in to people. Don't people please fuck them. If they don't like you, they don't like you. Okay? Stop trying to, not all of you guys, but don't do things that you are uncomfortable with. The higher font, that is a lesson for you guys. And I feel like this is something that you guys are going through and that you guys will soon overcome. And I feel like once you guys come out of this energy and take off your mask, then you guys will go towards nothing but greatness. That the higher font in the sun here is very good, very positive energy. All right? But you got to take off your mask first. All right? So, that's what I have for you, Air Signs. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. Send you guys a lot of love, like healing, energy, and abundance.
All right. I love you, air signs. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye, guys.